where there's a will, there's a way. Do you find yourself saying that? The CEOs I work with certainly do. And often that can lead to frustration for them. So there'll be a subset of the people that they work with who are visionaries like themselves. Visionaries often have that inner strength, that ability to see the vision, feel the vision, smell that vision. They need to they kind of know how they're going to get there. They know that willpower alone will power them through to that particular point. But those folks don't make up a whole organisation. And you may well feel frustration with the folks that don't see that or can't quite see that vision the same way that you do. Maybe your vision is pretty vague and blurry, like we want to be number one in our industry. OK, you can see how you can get there. Now, we know that that's the start of a vision. You know, there's obviously things we need to work on around that. Like, What are the objectives on the route to get there? What does being number one mean? What do we have to unlock to get there? So there's, there's a lot to break that vision down into. But again, you can probably see all of that happening. And great visionaries have that scaffolding in their head that makes them able to do that. And you can surround yourself with people like that as well. So if you find yourself saying, where there's a will, there's a way, perhaps it's time to flip that saying on its head. And think about it, where there's a way, there's a will. And that can help you unlock progress for those folks who can't quite see the vision in the same way that you can. So where there's a way, there's a will means you have to have a plan. You need to have objectives en route to this vision. You need to plot out every single step on the way to get there. Now, for many visionaries, that can seem really infuriating and slow and tedious. But the reality is, is, you know, you've got to make these steps. Fumbling through means you might get there eventually. But in having that plan and leveraging some of the strengths that the folks who probably aren't as strong visionary thinkers as you, they are probably very good operational people. They can help you build that plan to get there. And once that plan's there and every person knows what the next step is, it can suddenly feel achievable. So where there's a way, there's a will. If I know what the next step is, oh, that's easy. I can just do that next step. It doesn't feel like I'm boiling the ocean or doing this huge thing I have to do to make us number one. There's small, steady steps to get there. So in unlocking the secrets of bringing an organisation with you when you've got an audacious vision like that is you need to understand there's two sides to it. There's a will and there's a way. You need both of these things. Willpower will get you so far, but ultimately you need a plan to bring an organisation with you. Thanks very much for your time.